Dodgers in 7, 2 Dodgers in 6, 3 What is your pick and why? Red Sox in 7 A matchup between a 108-win team and a 92-win team shouldn't be this hard to decide, but a lot of circumstantial evidence suggests that the Dodgers are also an exceptionally good, maybe even elite, team. The fact that they won 104 games last year and mostly upgraded their roster, their 102-win run differential, the savvy improvements they made to their roster late in the season, and the tautological fact that they've beaten two playoff opponents and made it to the World Series. With all that said, I can't pick against the 108-win Red Sox, who dispatched two powerhouses on the way to this point and get the benefit of the doubt until they've lost. Red Sox in, for purely selfish reasons, 7. Sam Miller, ESPN writer Sox in 6. It makes sense, but this Red Sox team looks stronger today than it did before the playoffs. Five of the 23 World Series champions in the wildcard era have had the best record in baseball, but those five include two Red Sox teams 2007 and 2013. It seems like it'll be 6 of 24 by the end of the month. Sarah Langs, ESPN Stats They have a much more complete lineup, as well as better overall pitching than the Dodgers. The Red Sox also have an overall better defense, and I think that will play a big factor in this series, as it did against the Astros. Marley Rivera, ESPN writer Dodgers in 6. This one is all about the matchups. The Red Sox hit much better against right-handed pitching this year, so those lefty starters for the Dodgers could be an advantage for them, not to mention the plus-plus stuff of Walker Buehler. Likewise, all the right-handed relievers for Boston matched up well against the right-handed lineup of Houston, but the Dodgers have more quality left-handed hitters to present some problems. Chris Sale's health is also a question mark, another reason to lean toward the Dodgers. David Schoenfield, ESPN senior writer Dodgers in 7. I think this will be another tight series, possibly a classic with runs hard to come by. It may take seven games for the difference to become clear, but I like the way Kenley Jansen is throwing right now more than Craig Kimbrell, and I like the Dodgers bench for the games in LA. Bradford Doolittle, ESPN writer Mpl Xander Bogarts or JD. Martinez walk away with World Series MVP, AP photo, Frank Franklin Emuki bets, 7 JD. Martinez, 5 Xander Bogarts, 2 Chris Sale, 2 Craig Kimbrell, 1 David Price, 1 Andrew Benintendi, 1 Clayton Kershaw, 3 Justin Turner, 1 Yasiel Puig, 1 Who Did You Pick For MVP, Mookie Betts. Betts is the best position player in this postseason, and Sale is the best pitcher in this postseason. Most World Series MVPs are position players, so I picked Betts. Sale can now tell reporters, after he wins it, that he was motivated by nobody believing in him. Miller, ESPN writer David Price How great would this be for the narrative? To go from the pitcher with the most starts without a team win entering the postseason, to a decisive performance in ALCS Game 5 as the team clinches, to two more dominating starts in the World Series en route to a series MVP? Or perhaps a bullpen renaissance, getting the save in the final game? In a season that has given us so many storylines, just like every MLB season before it, this just feels like a fitting way to cap it off. Price induced more swings and misses in his ALCS Game 5 start than any other postseason game of his career. He's ready. Langs, ESPN Stats. The preemptive L MVP was one of the best players, if not the best, all season. But aside from some incredible defensive plays, we haven't really seen the bets we all expected this postseason. Betts crushed lefties all season, batting .368, so I expect him to perform well both against Kershaw and Ryu. I think he's a sleeping giant that will finally wake up in the biggest stage of them all. Rivera, ESPN writer Justin Turner Turner has been swinging the bat well even though his playoff production doesn't entirely reflect that. I love his swing versus the green monster and I think he matches up well with the way Chris Sale and David Price are throwing right now. Doolittle, ESPN writer Clayton Kershaw. He's had two great starts this postseason and one terrible one. 
he has two great ones in the World Series and finally gets a ring as he walks away with MVP honors as well. Show and Field, ESPN Senior Writer to help make this website better, to improve and personalize your experience and for advertising purposes. Are you happy to accept cookies and other technologies? More info here Cookie Choices.